Hi smart people, my name is Carol and this is Ads Courses, a channel where I share with you the best digital marketing secrets and web analytics tricks. In this short tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use Google Analytics add-on for Google Spreadsheets. It's completely free and it's very powerful. You will be able to get data from GA to Google Sheets very fast and analyze it there. If you find my videos helpful and interesting, consider to hit the subscribe button now. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so first of all, you need to have a Google Spreadsheet file open. So just create an empty file and then you would need to install the Google Analytics add-on for Google Sheets. And you can do this like this. Go here into the add-on. I have it installed already, so it's in here. But if you don't, just go here, get add-ons. And here it is. If it won't appear here for you, you can search it in here. Okay, so click here. And here you will have an option to install the add-on. So simply do that. You would need to authorize with your Google account. So simply do this. And after you install the add-on, you would simply need to refresh the website. And after you refresh the website, here it will be visible for you. Okay, so now I will show you how to create a report using the add-on. So simply go here and click create new report. Wait for it to load. Okay, so this is the interface of the add-on. First of all, you need to add a name to the report. So simply it could be template one in this example. And here you have an option to choose the Google Analytics account, property and view. So in this example, we will work on the demo account, the Google Merchandise Store demo account. So I will leave it as it is. And here you have an option to choose your metrics and dimensions that you want to import from Google Analytics into the Google Sheets. So just to show you, let's pick some metrics like users, new users sessions you can write in here let's add like bounce rate the basic metrics just to show you how it works transactions maybe if you want to see all dimensions and metrics that are available in google analytics you can simply go to the ga dev tools upspot.com i will leave a link to this website in the description of this video and here you can search for dimensions and actually see them and see the names the api names that you need to use to actually import them but in this interface it's easy to actually find the metrics in here so you shouldn't have a problem doing this so let's say uh, this is the account that i'm working on right now and let's say that we have some goals in here that we would want to import. So we have goal one, purchase completed, goal two, engage users. So how would you import these goals into the Google Spreadsheet file using the add-on? You would simply write goal and here you can see goal XX completions. So you choose this. And even if you want to add more than one goal into the report, you just simply leave it like this for now. We will deal with this later. Okay, so let's say these are the metrics that I want to import. Now let's choose dimensions and I will simply import source medium. Okay, and you can add segments in here if you want to use segments to import the data. These are the built-in segments in here. Let's say I will leave it like it is right now and let's create the report. Okay, so this is how it looks after you click the button. And these are actually the settings of the report that we want to create. So we are actually not done yet. And as you can see, this is the report name and here you have some settings, right? And if we actually would go here and create a new report, here would appear the settings of our second report and we could add more reports within the same spreadsheets. Okay, so let's say we want to change the start date and end date because in default it will be last 30 days, right? So if you want to pick a particular date, you would need to write it down exactly as I do right now, just like this. Okay. Okay, so this is the, sorry. So this is the format, the date format that you would want to use in these fields. And if you want to study the query parameters, I will leave a link in the description of this video. So here you have the start date, the end date, and here is a summary where you can see the format of this field. It could be like this, or it could be today, yesterday, or n x days ago. Okay, and same with the end date. So here you can find like documentations about it. Okay, so here we have our metrics that we just picked. And if you want to import a Google Analytics goal, now you would simply just change, replace the XX with the goal number. 
So let's say I want to import the goal one, push is completed. So I will simply write it like this. And if you, I want to add more goals, I will simply copy this part, paste it in here and replace, and replace it like this. And now I will import two goals, goal one and goal two. Okay, here we have our dimensions, here you have order. So you could select a metric that you want to order by. So let's say it could be like Google users. So you would simply write it like this. And here are the filters. If you want to know more about filters, you can find them in the core reporting API documentation. I will post a link to this in the description, of course. And here you can see that you have some operators that you can work with when it comes to metric filters and dimension filters. So let's say I want to create a filter to only include metrics that are greater than or not equal to, right? So you would write it like this, because this is the operator, a normal operator, and this is the version for the API, right? You would write it like this. So if I want to create a filter that will show only data when the time on page was greater or equal to 10, I would write it like this. So let's, for example, copy this and you would copy this in here or write your own filter, right? Using the operators from the documentation. Here we have segments, we can select them easily from the add-on interface. Here you have a limit, so you could add a limit to your report to only show, for example, 1000 rows, which is default, but you can easily delete this. Okay, so here you have an option to actually create this report, export the data into the different spreadsheet file. If for any reasons you would actually want to, you know, export the data into different spreadsheets, you can simply paste a URL to the spreadsheets in here. Here you have an interesting uh, option to skip the report. So for example, I would create like several reports in here within the same files. So every time you would actually run a report, it would create a new tab in here each time, every time for a new report. But if you want to run a particular report only once, because let's say I would have three reports in here. So here would be another report, another report, and another report. But I only want to run the, like the last report, the deferred report. But if I do have several reports within the same spreadsheet, if I would go here and run the reports, it would run all three reports that are in here. You can prevent that by just writing true in here, and it will actually skip this report. It won't run it because maybe you want to run this report only once. Okay. And here is an interesting option because you can actually expand these hidden settings that are in here. And there is an interesting option. And this is the sampling level because uh, your Google Analytics data is simply sampled, right? And you can simply select a different sampling settings using this option in here. So if you would want to have like a higher precision, less sampling, you would write something like this in here, higher precision. If you want your report to be generated faster, you would write faster in here. But you know, the faster option will actually sample more data. Okay, so this is a cool feature in here. This option is actually available only for Google Analytics 360. So we'll skip this. And this option will allow you to simply exclude empty rows if you would want to actually not show them at all. Okay, so these are the settings for the Google Analytics add-on. And now let's say we want to just run the report. So we'll simply go like this, run report, or you can schedule the report in here, just enable reports to run automatically. And you can select every day, every hour, every week, month, and you can select between hours, right? So you can schedule your report to run automatically and update the data automatically, okay? So let's simply run the report. And after you do this, you would actually create a new tab for this report. And here you will see the data after it loads, of course. So we have our source medium in this example, our users and other metrics that we selected. And you can, of course, create dashboards, visualizations using this data in this spreadsheet. Okay, so now you know how to use GA add-on for Google Sheets. Now go ahead, download it and create your first report. If you have any questions or want to share your ideas, you can do this in the comment section below. If you don't want to miss any other of my videos, simply subscribe. That's all for today. Bye.